in this session uh, let's configure the listener before we configure the listener uh, let's find few attributes related to the operating system okay let's find out uh, what is the host name of this operating system host name okay it is linux dot oracle okay let me find out what is the IP address if config it says command not found let me log in as root okay entering the password okay now try this out and it worked and you see the IP address is 192.168.50.55 this IP address is important for us so whenever we are configuring the listener we can either use the uh, host name like given here or we can use the IP address okay remember those two values now let's configure the listener before that let me open a new window okay and then use xhost plus and now minimize this and then let me call the graphical user interface net ca okay okay and again the command not found it says command not found because we are in the root so let's log in as oracle and now let's see now it will open the graphical user interface where we can configure the listener okay okay the graphical user interface is opened and here it is giving us various options here we want to configure the listener okay I'll click next and I want to add a listener so that's the option enabled so I'll click next and what do I want to call the listener let's keep it the same okay if you want you can change but if you want to keep the same you can okay here I'm keeping the same next the protocols if you want to include all the protocols just select and click this button so that the TCPS will be coming under the selected protocols for right now I want only the TCP so I'll click next and I'll say use the standard port number which is 1521 most of the time we will be installing Oracle database under the standard port number for some reason if you change your standard port number then you can select this button and enter the port number okay click next okay now it is asking us would you like to configure another listener we said no if you want to configure one more you can say yes and again follow through the steps okay here I am saying no clicking next and it says listener configuration is complete and then click next and let me say finish so the graphical user interface is closed now let's see the listener entry so let's go to Oracle home okay okay let me see what is Oracle home it is u01 app oracle product 11.2.0 and then let's go to network and then let's go to admin this is where the listener.ora file will be there so let me select you see listener.ora file and let's see what are the contents in this listener i'll say more listener.ora and you see okay it said the host is linux.oracle yeah you can use the host name or if you want even you can use the IP address which is 192.168.50.55 you can either use a host name or a IP address and the port is 1521 okay that's good and now let's start the listener okay how can we start the listener lsn r ctl start it says listener using listener name listener has already been started that means when we created this listener by default it started 
So let's see what are the services available under this listener R C T L services and you see service prod1 has one instance that means there is an instance running under the name prod1 so that's good information if you don't see any service with your database name that means your listener is not configured properly okay and this one you can ignore service prod1 xdb you can ignore that okay and uh, if you want to check the status okay let's say lsn or ctl status okay you see status gives you lot of information it says the listener is connecting to host linux.oracle and the port 1521 the name is listener and the version of the listener and start date is 12th March this time uptime 2 days 15 hours 4 minutes 0 seconds trace level is off security on local operating system authentication SNMP is off and listener parameter file is located in this location and listener log file is located in this location so it's giving a lot of information and it says there are two instances running one is prod1 and the other one is prod1 xdb okay so that's good what if you want to restart yes we can restart okay that is lsnr ctl stop let's stop it it's trying to stop the listener okay let me see the status you see TNS no listener and the remaining are all error saying there is no listener running now if you want to start it it is LSN or CTL start and you see the listener is starting okay it will take a few seconds to start okay let's use the command status okay still no services so we have to wait for some more time to start the listeners okay after 15 seconds let's check the status again to see that the listener is up and running okay let me try now lsnr ctl status okay now you see prod1 is up and running let's also check the services okay it will show you the same information saying instance prod1 status ready instance prod1 status ready for the service prod1 xdb okay that means we have successfully created a listener and also we learned how to stop a listener start a listener to check the status of the listener and also check what are the various services available with the listener okay this is very important because without a listener the external clients cannot talk with this oracle database okay so configuring the listener is very important for you as a dba okay